streaming live on WHITradio.org from High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey. It's the Jeff Eshack Show. I'm your announcer, Buddha, and your host is Abraham. Good morning. I'm your host, Abe, and with me today is Kevin, Jamie, Yusuf, and Joshua. And behind the glass, we have Laura, John, and Marilyn. On our show today, we have recent reports about an Ebola out, uh, outbreak in Dallas, Texas. Should you be worried? We are going to be go halfway around the world to talk about a shark, uh, a shark attack in Australia. Coming back to the United States, where a hacker has released nude photos of celebrities and out to the universe where a NASA craft has reached the orbit of Mars. Now, over to Joshua with the story about the Ebola outbreak. Okay. Uh, the f- Ebola... What is it called? Yeah. Ebola is a disease formerly transmitted from animals, and the first person who was infected with it in America name was Thomas Eric Duncan who was released from the hospital because they, they didn't oh, what's the right word what's the word I'm thinking of uh, I don't know the word whatever and so he supposedly has infected anywhere from 18 to almost 100 people down in Dallas Texas and close uh, I don't know. What? Okay. So, uh, so there is no vaccine, vac- vaccine for the disease yet in America. However, there are two potential candidates who are going under again, undergoing evaluation for one. Uh, a recent hospital has almost released almost a hundred students from a school who might be infected with it, and it's kind of creepy because it can kill people. It's normally an animal disease, and humans are not animals. Uh, is this only in Dallas? So far, yes. It's normally found in Africa. <coughs> Thank you, Joshua. And now over to Yusuf with a shark attack in Australia. Australia. Okay. Mike. So uh, a man had part of his arm bit off by a great white shark when he was surfing. And it's weird because there are a lot of sharks in Australia, but usually they don't attack people. That's like the second Do one. Do you know the reason so why the shark had attacked him? He's probably hungry. No, it's actually because... He's probably the shark believes that the guy is a seal. Oh. And when they're swimming and stuff. He wasn't swimming, he was surfing. Surfing? But you don't, You need a little movement to be in the water, Yusuf. Okay. How far, how <laughs> and far then, offshore was this? What? How far offshore was this? Um, it, it was close to shore. It wasn't that far. It, it was close enough so that, like, he could swim back with one arm, but then... He kinda, swam back? Yeah, he swam back with one arm, but like he kind of fainted after. So. That's for the dangerous. <laughs> Do you okay. think that he'll be able to surf again? Well, pro- uh, he, he might be because he well, didn't Well, if you didn't hear legs. about that story a couple, like like 10 years ago where that girl got her Bethany arm Hamilton, right? They made, they I, made I a movie about that. Yeah, Soul, Soul, Soul Surfer. Soul Surfer. Soul yeah. Surfer. I didn't watch the movie. Better than like Soul Searcher. <laughs> yeah, word. Oh, yeah. uh, thank you, Yusuf, so much. You're welcome, dude. And now over to little man, Kevin, <laughs> with... The celebrities. Yes. Uh, well, a few months back, uh, there was this hacker who took photos from a bunch of celebrities. Can you give us an example of some celebrities? Uh, Kim Kardashian, the girl from Catching Fire, Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. Selena Gomez, Victoria, Justice, it's a bunch. Did you see any of these? <laughs> well, I had to do some, <laughs> I, I had to do some research. Yes, yes, I did. So now, what's so significant about the story right now? Well, Kate Upton was recently. Uh, 
exposed. So she went to the FBI, and the FBI has been investigating to find the hacker that that's been uh, exposing all these uh, photos and information of these celebrities. And yesterday, um, somewhere in the afternoon, he was caught. That's cool. Oh, thank you, Kevin. Now over to Jamie with the NASA craft reaching the orbit of Mars. So the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution craft, called MAVEN for short, has arrived in Mars orbit. It has traveled 442 million miles in the course of 10 months. MAVEN won't land on the surface but it will study the Mars atmosphere from its orbit. MAVEN was sent out to study Mars climate change. NASA says MAVEN's goal is to find out what might have happened to the Martian atmosphere, which is believed to be once thicker. Now, I I'm actually excited because I'm always curious to find out what's out there, like, right beyond. Do you believe in aliens? Um. I do not know. What? Um, Jamie, duh, duh. didn't we have a rover that was on Mars, or was that another planet? Um, I'd have to look that up. Uh, it oh. was in Mars, yes. Oh. It was in Mars. It was on he Mars, studies, you mean? He studies the rocks, but he came back to Earth Very cool. a few months back. Now, do you think they'll be able to find life on Mars, or...? I mean, they said there's really not a big source of water there, so I don't know, like, how the life can sustain. Interesting. Thank you so much, Jamie. And thank you for watching. And thanks to our panel, Ibrahim, myself, Joshua, Kevin, Jamie, Yusuf, Marilyn, and Laura. And this is WHITradio.org, and join us next time. Thanks for watching the Jeff E. Shack Show. Tune into WHIT Radio's YouTube page for more shows. Have a good day.